guys, it's Angelina. My hair is wet and I need to shave my armpits and I have practice in like 20 minutes, but you know, I have to make this video. So let's, let's get into this. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite creators, basically people that inspire me. These are people that consistently inspire me and I think that are super special. So it'd be cool if you guys check them out too and hear what I have to say about them and maybe you can be inspired too um, and have an open mind because some of these people I didn't really like, but now I do. So yeah, I'll insert clips of their pieces or their speeches or whatever the heck that I can find that will try to help you understand where I'm coming from and where they're coming from as artists to hopefully make maybe change your mind about them or introduce you to some new creators. So first off the list is Tyler the Creator. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't like his music very much. Like I can't listen to that kind of music, but him as a person, him as an artist is so inspiring. He's coming out with a shoe brand. He's designed furniture. And I watched his whole fashion show. It was really creative. I've never seen anything like it. I'll link it down below. So it was his first fashion show. And um, there was like a skateboarding little area, you know, like a ramp thing. And then it was just so cool to me. And there was like sunflowers on the ground. And, and like, oh, it was just so cool. And then he did this little rap at the end. And then um, he gave us a, a long speech. Um, personally, I don't think me and Tyler would be friends. You never know. But, but I don't think we would. But I, just the things he said was super inspiring. Basically, he doesn't give a F about what other people think. And, and he's different. And he honestly is. I've never seen anyone, you know, make things like him. He believes in himself. It's really hard to explain what I see in people, but there's really just special people out there, and I think he's just really one of them. Um, he does a lot. He's He does what he wants, and he thinks he can do anything, which he can, so um, I really admire that, basically. And yeah, he's unstoppable, so I hope he just keeps doing what he's doing. I really wish I liked his music, though. But man, I feel so underappreciated with a lot of the shit that I do. And to know that there's people out there like y'all that actually even give the smallest fuck is so awesome. Growing up as an inner city black kid, I wasn't the most masculine. You know, I wasn't into sports. I, I, I liked pink and shit, you know? And, Growing up, liking pinks and colors and patterns and all that shit wasn't cool. But luckily, I had people around me who trusted me and didn't judge me. And motherfuckers like y'all who fuck with me to allow me to keep pushing that shit, you know? And I don't really know shit about fashion like that. I just know I like making clothes just like I like making music. But the difference between me and these niggas is that I make what I like no matter what the fuck none of these niggas tell me, you feel me? Now, moving on to the next one, it's Kanye West. Um, Kanye is literally the most misinterpreted, misinterpreted, misinter misinterpreted person, famous person of all time. It's really sad. Um, people think that, you know, he's just full of himself or he's like a part of the Illuminati or like worships the devil or something, which I mean, I can't be one to know that he isn't. But from what I see in him, I see, I really hope that he lo like loves God and Jesus and stuff because I really hope that the Illuminati isn't real like that, like what everyone thinks is like, you know, like Beyonce and stuff. I really hope it's not real um, because when you hear his interviews and you see what he has to say and the things that he makes, it's like, how could he... He, he could just be like a really, he, he's just the creator, like, he, there's no way that he could be connected to that kind of thing, like, maybe he could be, but I don't know, but it's just, okay, first of all, he reinvents himself every single CD, I know everyone says that, but it's true, it's evident in every single thing that he's done, I think The Life of Pablo is the best CD that he has, personally, I think it's so different, there's a lot of different tracks on there, um, I really like Wolves, Ultralight Beam, of course, and what else? I really like Waves. Like, those three songs are so different, but they're just, like, incredible. And I haven't heard anything like Ultralight Beam, so I love that track. First of all, Kanye isn't just a rapper, you know, he does, he creates his own clothes. I mean, he has a clothing line, you know, you know, he's like a, an artist in that way, too. We, we interpret him the way that 
that we want to if you understand his message and you understand what what he where he comes from with everything he says um i just feel like there's no way that you could hate him and and judge him and think he's you know all about himself people are all about themselves if you want to be a better person like you have to be all about yourself and and you have to know what you're capable of and and try to be the best person you can be because if you don't then you're not going to be bettering yourself or bettering the world and honestly he's grown um maybe he's made mistakes in the past he's a dad now i see him and he's old i'm sorry like he's not super old but like he's older now i feel like he's more mature he's not going to do anything dumb and i think he's just He's just, you know, a guy, and like Tyler, I don't think we would be friends, but um, but I admire his work, and um, and it's hard to explain what I see in him, but I, I see it in him, you know, just, he's unstoppable too, like Tyler, I think. People think a lot of my motivation is very, like, megalomaniac and self-oriented. To the contrary, completely, I just want to help. From day one, I just wanted to help. It's crazy that we live in a world that if you're super positive and super creative, that it's scary. So what does that tell you about the mentality of most people? If you're scared of like positivity and creativity, like there's, I have no intent to do anything negative. Go listen to all my music. It's the codes of self-esteem. It's the codes of who you are. If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. You will believe in yourself. I'm just the espresso. I'm just a shot in the morning to get you going. Megan Hughes, she is a YouTuber. Um, I love her vibes that come from her channel. She, uh, man, I don't even know. She's just so positive and it's so good to have YouTubers like that. There's not a lot of genuine people that are like that, which makes me sad. But she's literally living the lifestyle of, you know, like what it truly means to be happy. And she's also having a heck of a good time being on YouTube too, which is a cool thing to watch. And um, she did this video on the law of attraction, which helped me a lot. Her saying phrase on her channel is um, stay smiling, which is really cool. And she's just really a cool human being. So you should definitely watch her videos and you can learn a thing or two from her channel. So definitely recommend her also she did a collab with mod sun which was so freaking cool and i was like girl you're living it so yeah get in the mirror just being like damn like i am so the only me i'm so the only one that can like do exactly like what my like flower is supposed to bloom into yeah. and shit and like i want to watch my movie at the end of this at this life and be like really proud of it i have dealt with this before just whenever i'm writing something i'm like oh my god just for a while, it's just been really bad. Like, why is everything so bad? But then you just gotta turn on the switch. You gotta find inspiration in something. You gotta find that thing that makes it switch. Sometimes when I'm writing something, I'm listening to a tune in the background. I'm like, oh my God, that was such a good line. Mm. And I can say it differently and go on a whole kind of tangent on that same topic that they just sang about. So right. it, that always helps me a bunch. Just listen to some tunes that just get you going, you know? So the next person is Orion. She is um, kind of more on the artistic side. I think she wants to be a writer. She's super, um, you know, Tumblr, but not in a bad way. That's just who she is, I feel like. Um, she's super stylish. She, but she is a writer, you know, like she, you can tell she loves doing that. Um, and it's not fake. Um, and I just think it's, it's cool. She's just so cool. And what she produces, you can tell is genuine and I don't know how to explain it. She just there's just something special about her and I hope that you guys could see that too if you checked out her channel. Everyone's channels or whatever, albums, whatever will be linked down below. Rang in the new year mocking the couples around us, sucking face as we joked about being lonely forever. Little did I know, just days down the road I'd meet someone so incredibly special to me. January 6, 2015, I met Michael. Four Lang, I write because you exist. Kisses dream of lips like yours. 
She rode on airplanes and fell asleep in hotel beds, dreaming of faraway places, writing poetry with her sunset eyes. So, the last one is Sean Liu. Sean Liu is a dancer. He, I think he's 14, but I'm not incredibly sure. He's younger than me. As you guys know, I dance. But with Sean, um, he basically does like a lot of different styles. So his dance style like evolves into something different. And I think his style is so different and I appreciate it so much. From the things he creates, there's no, that's not a specific style. It's just dance, you know? He's beyond his years. Like imagine when he's gonna be like 30 or 20, not 30, cause that's a little, you know, but like 20 or something. He's definitely inspiring to me and I look up to him a lot even though he's younger than me, so. You can never be too cocky. You can never be too good to stop learning because there are so many great teachers there are so many great mentors out there that can teach you something that you've never thought of learning and it's amazing once you actually get to experience that influence that they've put on your style or whatever you like to do so those are people that inspire me I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you check them out and maybe study more about them. <laughs> study, I'm dead. But um, like learn more about them to maybe so you could see like into my mind and see into their minds and see how they influence me or how they influence the world. So um, I hope this could inspire you and I hope maybe you can make a list of people that inspire you so you can share with me and um leave it in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and bye sometimes it feels you feel like as a creator you might be like man is this what i want to do and i feel like i'm creative in a lot of different ways like i could be an artist if i really wanted to i could be a dancer if i really wanted to i could do like youtube and like movies and shit if i really wanted to videos whatever the heck but like which one do I do um, and I feel like you don't have to just pick one and I feel like these people are a prime example of that um, just do what the heck you love create it doesn't have to be a specific thing um, and yeah that thought has been put out into the universe let's go